Welcome to the Power Packed Podcast. Please be quiet and courteous and silence your cell phones now. Be sure to grab some snacks and concessions, located in the lobby. And now our feature presentation. Prepare for better. Episode 106. Here we are, and Josh is not yet with us because, if you remember last episode, he had to run out uh, a quick, uh, I don't know if it was an emergency or not. It doesn't sound like it. He says he'll be right back, uh, but I decided, you know what, I think it'd be funny to start the episode without him, and when he's here, he's just either got a... You know, he's got to jump in the bin, or he's got to get out of the the ditch, or whatever. He's got to go all. He's got to put the muffler level to ten and exhaust. He can't have it. Environmentally conscious, Josh, no exhaust. He's got to break the muffler off, duct tape the pollution hole. Josh has got to do some catching up. He's he's got to rub some condiments on a sandwich, and I mean, he's got to take a bite out of life when he gets back. Because I ain't slowing down. I'm turbo. I'm that slug with greased body. And I'm just, I'm sliding around a Hot Wheels track. Okay. <clears throat> Josh had to do a whole episode by himself one time. And he did a good job. I'm probably only going to have to do five minutes. And I'm going to do a great job. You know, because confidence is the killer of not confidence, incompetence. If you have confidence, you can do anything. Like if someone asks you, um, hey, you got change for a 20? You don't pause and think. You don't, uh, you don't go to your wallet and try and make up an excuse. You just say no. And that might be true. That might be not true. But he knows that his, according, you know, it's true to him because you said it so fast. Or if someone's like, what's the capital of Maine? You don't think about it. You just say Jefferson City. And they go, whoa, is that right? And then they go to Google and look it up. Hold on a second. Capital of Maine. I spelled Maine wrong. It's actually Augusta. But they don't know because you were so confident. So it says on your resume, uh, you were uh, a general manager of a Popeye's chicken? Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't true, but I said, yeah, so quickly, he thinks I ran a Popeye's chicken back in 2019 on my resume. Uh, Okay, Josh, are you here? I'm assuming you are. If not, I'll play both parts. This is a Power Pack Podcast, a podcast featuring two dudes and one friendship. Mm Mm-hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Oh, Josh, you, you goofball. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, that's funny, Josh. You have a very Adam Sandler-esque way of telling jokes, and I like it. Oh, Joshy boy. Oh, Joshy boy. Oh, Joshy boy. We won't be able to reveal who, uh, what's better, Quiznos or Subway, because technically I just posted it, uh, even though a week has gone by. But we stopped talking about it last episode because interruptions happen. Dogs roll in and cars almost want to hit other cars and stuff. So parking lot nightmares. Nightmare before the parking lot. Oh, I woke up. I was in a Walmart parking lot and I can't get out. That next book by M. Night Shalomon. It's called Walmart Wars. It's about two Walmarts 
open up right next to each other. One Walmart hates the other Walmart because they they're price gouging. Uh, is the price gouging the right word? They're they're rolling back prices so much that the other Walmart can't stay in business. But they you can buy like meat for a penny, like two pennies. Because like the other Walmart had it five pennies, the other Walmart's like, oh, I'm going to sell my a pound of meat for four pennies. Pretty soon, these Walmarts, I'm giving away food. But, you know, it wasn't until like the the main character said, hey, oof, man, these, this isn't going to last. I'm the CEO. The main character's the CEO. This ain't going to work. We need, a, we need to build a bridge between these Walmarts. And so they built a literal bridge to, symbol, to symbolize a metaphor that they need to work together. So they built this bridge. They spent all the money they got from selling that five cent meat. They built a bridge. One CEO, his name was Rick, and the other CEO, his name was Charles. Rick and Charles. You know what they do? They they meet in the middle of this bridge. It's a whole ceremony. It's like the end of Star Wars Episode One when the Naboo and everything. You know the big old Padme's like, dude, Anakin, bro, Anakin. Oh my goodness, you. I mean, if you weren't a little boy, I swear, I two movies. Give me two movies. Actually, I think it was just, give me one movie, and I'll hit you up. You know, I mean, you're old enough to pod race. You should be old enough to date, but not yet. Next movie, I'll hit you up, Anakin. But in the meantime, take this necklace that says, I'm an honorable little child, and I did great things on my pod racer to win back parts to get the silver ship, the X-Wing thing, out of the sky, up in the air. Darth Maul, your face, it got busted up. By whose lightsaber? Qui Gon Nobis. That's Qui Gon Jinn and Obi Wan Kenobi. They had a baby, but you don't see that in the movie, and you don't see him in the show because he has force powers that make him invisible. He's the one that actually killed Darth Maul. Facts. Fact check me. I tweeted George Lucas, uh, and he he never tweeted back. <sighs> well, I thought Josh would, would be right back by now. I was hoping he'd be back. I mean, this is, I think it's been like f- at least five minutes of this, of this garbage. Um, yeah. So let's see. We could love, uh, we could go to some emails. We can open up the Butter Dome, open seven days a week. We should just call it 7 Eleven because it's open seven days out of 11. Powerpack Podcast email. If you want to email us a question, a comment, no pictures, please. Email us at Butterdome. Wait, what's our email? It's in the podcast link. Hey, Josh, how's it going? Hey. Oh, should I? Uh, is your thing still running? Oh, heck yeah, dude. I started the episode. Oh, oh yeah. So I'm back. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> man, uh, yeah, sorry to run. Like, I literally had to go in my car or else it was going to get, like, hit. So, hit by what? Uh, someone's working on our. Uh, Someone's working on our, uh, it's, it's a long story. I'll tell you more <laughs> after the podcast, but yeah, it's just, uh, yeah. So yeah, have, okay, well, having fun, but, uh, how deep, how far are we in right now? So we got, I, we I don't know, but I've been talking for what felt like an eternity. I don't know how you did a whole episode by yourself, <laughs> dude. It, yeah, the, it is definitely. So when you do the solo episodes, by the way, it's, uh, yeah, it, it like ten minutes in, you're like, I really like, I can't talk anymore by myself. This is just so weird. So, you're yeah. you're a trooper for sure. I just thought it'd be funny to like just start one and then see what happens when you come back. Because I mean, we we had a late start, and then I didn't want to like you know be too late with another you know wait. Yeah, yeah, just efficiency you know because uh, we got you got shifted make some dinner soon and stuff you know i'm talking about pizza yeah. or whatever you know so what, uh, you, what are you making for dinner what do you what do you pizza. i heard something about pizza what kind of pizza I do are you pi- doing I, I do that costco pizza oh i forgot your costco daddy you love the costco pizza is good i man. well we found a better pizza but we just haven't been to the store the correct store to get it oh but well what one is it it's like they're almost like personal pizzas, but because they're deep dish, you pretty much you can split one between two people. Oh. Uh, someone brought them over. I forget what they're called. They sent us a picture, but it was like one of the best just take home pizzas I've ever had. And I don't normally oh. do deep dish. I usually like thin crust or a medium crust, but it was dope. 
<clears throat> man, I like. See, I can't imagine a frozen deep dish like being really good. And that's the funny part is like, if it's done right, oh my gosh, like the deep dish pizza is it's delicious. You know, it's like just all the like the thickness of sauce and cheese. that makes me want pizza. Like, I'm probably just because it's been like busy day and stuff and. And I don't feel like making dinner. It might be an. I, I might skip off of the trough and just get some pizza. Honestly, heck, heck yeah. Do you do you know um uh in the Lion King when Simba's looking in the lake and he sees uh, Mufasa? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that's when you make this pizza, you're gonna like put it in the oven, and before you close it, you're gonna see an image of Chef Ramsay, and he's gonna he's gonna say, "This pizza is the best pizza you're ever gonna eat," yeah. and then he disappears. And then, and like smoke, yeah, and then, and then he'd be like, Charlene, you won't believe what I just saw. She's like, I don't, yeah. Anyways, um, I was gonna say something about doing mushrooms, but um, <laughs> I'm gonna leave that alone. Uh, oh. I didn't. I have not done mushrooms. We just had another pre-podcast, and mushrooms were a topic of uh, uh, comedic yeah. discussion. So yes, don't worry, exactly. your boy's not on the shrooms. John and I. Uh, we're we're you know we don't we don't do much for me i i'll i'll drink a kombucha from here here and every once in a while i'll have uh you know i might have really my vices are are caffeine and sugar like i i drink i drink coffee in the morning i'm not like i don't drink it too excessively but man sweets i got some mega stuffed oreos uh the other day and they're gross they're really gross but they're so good uh oh mega stuff Mega stuff, yeah. It's got. Oh, that's like, my favorite, dude. You take you take two of those, dude. You put them together. <laughs> you got a quad stuff, bro. Dude, I, hang you ten, qu- bro. Do you quad stuff, dude? I quad stuff, dude. <laughs> Ain't not even a question, bro. Dude, I'm gonna do some quad stuff, and probably after this, to be honest, it, it's not a healthy dinner kind of night. It's a pizza and a quad stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got a flat tire. You got quad stuff, it, dude. <laughs> Just stuff it full of stuff. Yeah. You feeling like you got a lackluster moose knuckle? Got a quad stuff it, dude. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the... So we've got a couple of characters in the, the J.J. Fresh universe, you know, and the, the thing, you know, the surfer one's probably my favorite now at this point. <laughs> Just the, the Malfoy's like... Because he's got Crab and Goyle, and then... What's the character's crab, name? Crab, dude. dude. Crabs crab. are on the beach, bro. <laughs> dude, I love beaches and I love crabs. <laughs> I love cra- I love putting water in the crab holes and catching crabs with a, a sand bucket when it comes out, dude. <laughs> Imagine this guy. You know how in Harry Potter they all go on like vacation. You know they go home and visit their family on Christmas. This guy doesn't have any family, so he just goes and cra- catches crabs on the beach. <laughs> he just like he sits like a little kid with his legs all the way extended, and he's just waiting for a crab to come out. Like, yeah, I'm gonna catch one. I love. The arc that he has to be like cast as, you know, I joked like the, some of these Netflix shows, they'll cast like somebody who's supposed to be sixteen and they're like thirty five and they have like a beard and so I want yeah. that for for this character. Like all the other characters are like, you know, they're kids and then there's this one guy who's like, yeah, dude, I'm like, I'm fourteen for sure. What what up, dude? It's like a what is it? In a, I guess. And then Twilight, I guess they look like they were in high school. They were pretty young looking, I they, guess. But they were, yeah. They some, yeah. I feel like Twilight, they were actually teenagers. But yeah, some of these shows nowadays. We watched one, and the guy, he's supposed to be seventeen, and he he looked like he was forty. And then we looked it up, and he was like thirty six or something. And it was that's so oh. gross. Oh, who's the? Remember that kid from uh, Hannah Montana? Oh who, my god! The, you yeah. know what I'm talking about the yeah. kid who's like thirty something, but he looks like a teenager. Yeah, he had already. It was something like he had already been like divorced, like had a full marriage and a full <laughs> life by the time he went on to Hannah Montana. <laughs> it's like he's a child star. Oh, oh he's a ooh. man. Ooh, <laughs> there it is. There's another commercial <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> when they find out he's a man Ooh. it's like his uh his fans or friends are like hey want to come hang out at this 18 and younger club and he's just like i'm 42 Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what's that actor's oh. name i'm adding some thumbnail notes and i just put in hannah montana man um, child but i think it's like clive 
uh, what is his name? Hannah. <laughs> well, <laughs> Tana Cast. We'll find it. We'll find it for the thumbnail. We Jason will. Earls. Jason Earls? Jason Earls. Born in 1977. He's 44 oh, now. So Hannah dude. Montana was, what, 2000? Uh, Probably early 2000s. Yeah. So he was definitely in his 30s for sure. Had to yeah. Be. Late 20s, 30s, I think. Yeah. Uh, 30s, definitely. Yeah, 30s. That's fun. Whoa, this guy was in Hannah Montana? He was in Breaking Bad. What would he? What was he in Hannah Montana? He must have been a, like a side fella. There's a Breaking Bad guy? A Breaking Bad character was in Hannah Montana. You know the guy in the crutches? I don't know if you've seen the show. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, Flynn or Walter Jr. or whatever. Yeah, he Whoa. was in... Hannah Montana, really? Yeah. Who did he play? I don't know. He looks way different. Wow. What a stud muffin. Anyways, uh, let's see. I was going to open up emails um, if that oh, yeah. floated your uh Let's do it. Fancy. Oh, oh yeah, we were supposed to do butter stick. I'll just call that the episode. Oh, butter stick. Okay. <clears throat> Crumbs. P.S. Oh, I'm reading her third email, so whatever. A group of ducks can be called a raft of ducks, a team of ducks, a paddling of ducks. Okay. Uh, second email. JJ Fresh. I hate when my emails build up. I try to clean them every day. He wiped them emails. Uh, but I forget a day or two. It adds up fast, and then I give up, and now I have 99-plus emails. Any advice on keeping the email clean? I keep unsubscribing to junk I don't actually want, but it's never ending. Please help, Crumb. Mm, okay. So, mm, yeah. we, uh, she acted, okay, so um, I could, you know, there's different things you can do. Um, <clears throat> maybe we could have a section, you know, you got to keep your personal and professional separate, but I might add a little bit of that IT knowledge if I have to. Um, it's, uh, it's like, uh, you know, Harry Potter, you know, like, um, you know, Dumbledore's brother, who's like the, he's like the reclusive drunk <laughs> and he, uh, uh, <laughs> he's like, you know, he just like hides and he's like, Mr. Potter, you don't strike me as foolish or whatever. And anyways, he like shows up at the end of the big fight and he does like the big Patronus. So that's how I feel like with my IT stuff. Like, I feel like the reclusive wizard when people like want you know me to have help them with it stuff outside of work but then it's like when i have to come through and plug into hdmi that's me doing the patronus um i like mm. a family event so uh anyways for any oh. harry potter fans you might find that funny for anybody else you're gonna be like this guy's a total dweeb oh, I, um i hope you have a wand at work and you you do that to the routers and the modems and yeah love you patronio expecto wi yeah, Wi-Fi O H G M I O H D M I O Spyware Eliminato. <laughs> Can you imagine? Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna answer Crumb's question, but imagine we have an IT business, and uh, there's me who's doing the IT stuff, and then there's you with a wand, and when you want something, <laughs> let's say you need like a program installed, they're like, "Hey, can you help me with this?" And you stand there, and I don't say anything. And then you're like, uh, expecto spyware. And then you like tap their computer with your wand. And then I just do something really quick and then it fixes it. And that's just that would, our whole shtick, you know. That would be amazing. And I would get a Snape outfit and everything. <laughs> you have to have the, the greasy black hair and like, <laughs> Mr. Potter, you know. <laughs> Mr. Kosh, my assistant will be helping me clean your computer. Who <laughs> come? Computer. <laughs> Man, what a my favorite probably one of my favorite characters, honestly, in the whole thing, Snape. Just, just I I got his wand at Harry Potter Town. You you strike me as like uh you'd be a good yeah, you'd be a good Slytherin dude, for sure. Do me and Snape, dude? <laughs> dude? Dude, Snape told me how to like do uh what is it, the hang ten, you know? Dude, Snape's lifeguard. Well, me and Malfoy are crushing waves, dude. <laughs> dude, we had a Slytherin event, man, and I was like, we went out to the the Troll Sea, and I was just catching some waves, man. Just crushing that Pepsi Blue, dude. Just hang oh, ten. Pepsi Blue, hang ten. Okay, so Crumb's question though with the emails. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So, 
I'm trying to think. I mean, there's different things. You know, I'm really, uh, you know, unsubscribing is good. Uh, there's a thing, too, with emails where if they don't have a link, uh, like, available for unsubscribing, you can just reply with unsubscribe, and that should do the trick, hmm. um, usually. But some other things you know you just make some folders maybe and if you want to you want to read something but you don't want to you don't want to do anything with it just make a folder and just move it to that folder and then you have it there if you want to look back mm -hmm. on it and uh you know just just keep it imagine your your inbox is like your you know your table like your dining room table you don't want a bunch of rotten food on it you don't want to have no you know rats crawling all over your so like spam emails and and like the spam you know things like that those are rats crawling all over the the food you're leaving out and so my advice is just just keep your keep your table clean mm, that's good uh, that's good advice i'm not the one to ask because i have thirty six thousand unread messages in my yahoo yeah uh, yeah <laughs> but uh here so this is what i did here's my advice when a friend you don't like comes over and you offer him a drink what do you give him you give him your your uh, old was it? What's that uh, disgusting? Let's see, uh, I want to make sure I said the right. Yeah, you give him that old crow bourbon. I I almost said Jim, and I was like, oh. that doesn't sound right. Yeah. yeah, you give him that old crow, that bottom of the barrel bourbon. I think my dog's tearing something up. I don't know. I'll check on after this uh, helpful advice. But when a friend you like comes over, what do you give him? You want to show off the nice stuff you got, that that uh, that Blands, you know, that Johnny Walker yeah. Black or Up. Maybe yeah. uh, give him a Lagavulin, and something nice. And so your old, your email that's cluttering up with junk that you have to keep deleting, just just turn that into your old crow email, and go ahead and open up a nice Lagavulin email that you want people to share you you're like oh hey i like i want to see more about these old navy newsletters every month you want to come over and have some lagavulin you give them the lagavulin email so emails you want to see yeah. give them that and the emails you don't want to see junk so i started a new email for things i want to see and i still have my old emails that i peruse through every once in a while but i i expect Nothing but junk in them. And every once in a while, there's something I do want to read. But I don't worry about deleting them. It's just there. It's yeah, just there. That's, so that I'm going to make sure my dog is not tearing up something up. But yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So go ahead. Well, well while you're checking that, uh, I was just going to say that's a brilliant idea. Honestly, actually, I think that's better than what I was. Because when in doubt, uh, it's always good having you know one email that's kind of like your main one, like you said, that you want to give out to people. And then one that's just the junk dumpster email. And I've got a dumpster email too. That's like for, you know, if I want to sign up for, you know, something at a store so I can get a coupon or things like that. So that's kind of my deal too. But yeah, it's just, just, that's the best way to go. And I don't know if John is still here, but he is a trooper because he had to talk while I had to run outside real quick to move my car. He was talking. He kept just talking about things and and such and yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. Um, yeah. What, what's what's the news with your with your dog? Did they get in anything? Uh, she got into the recycle and was chewing on a giant box and then tore off a cushion of the couch. So she's making a mess. Oh man, did she did she end up like actually ripping open a a, a cushion? Oh no, she just moves them. Oh, uh, <laughs> my, my my dog does that too. He'll like he'll do this thing. He gets excited, so he rubs his face on the couch cushion and it like pulls the cushion off because he's like oh he's like rubbing his face on the couch. Um, yeah, uh, that's oh well, see that's cute. That's nice. See, our problem is we don't have a united front on the recycle. She yeah t tends to think that. It's not a recycle bin. It's a puppy toy bin. And she'll give the dog toys from the recycle. I'm like, no, uh, because, I mean, yeah. sometimes she'll go and grab a milk carton. And the next thing you know, she's bleeding out of her mouth because she's chewing on a milk carton. It's like, how about uh, we don't give the dog that stuff? But <laughs> whatever. It's, you know, 
you know, just it is uh, what it is. You know, that's well, the good old days of just uh, you know just breaking some tree branches and having dog chew on that. You know, but then they get splinters and yeah, just just pl- you, know. you know replace your dog's teeth with wooden teeth, and then they can't do as much damage. Yeah, wooden flat teeth like a horse. Pirate teeth, yeah. Horse teeth. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we got, we got another, uh, another email. Hi, JJ Fresh. I'm trying to imagine y'all's life as mermen. Do you ever? Oh, this actually kind of circles back to the intro I was talking about, except it's a mermaid. You'll hear it when you listen to it. Do I can't you th- wait. Th- do you ever think about when the future of JJ Fresh would be as mermen, Crumb? So, hmm. um,. Yeah, I mean, so is she saying like, if if somehow we were still doing this like podcast and everything, but we were just we were mermen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I imagine it would be a little bit more difficult because when you're you have to live in water uh, logistically, um, you know, you have all the electric the cables and things like that. So you probably have to like get some waterproof recording equipment, uh, something where you could record underwater or would you be in water or would it be like a whale where you can come out of water for a little bit that's why i forgot it's like i think because like there's the mer people in harry potter where they i feel like they don't come out of the water um Mm. and but then like traditional you know like little mermaid stuff i think they can come out of the water so maybe i would just go with the option of both because it's just cool to like do the hybrid thing um just give me a blowhole on my chest and I'll just come out of the water, spray everything down and I'll be good for like an hour. Yeah. But then you just dip back in. I mean, that's, dip that's the good in. life, honestly. But yeah, I, something like that, you know, I just kind of, uh, just kind of, it's like, uh, what is it? Then the amphibious vehicles, you know, they go in the water and like that. I'm thinking that would just be my thing. It'd be kind of a little bit of shared time between both. I feel like it'd just be a lot of towels, you know, like when you, uh, go swim in, and you're about to get in your car, and you just know there's nothing you can do. Everything's going to get wet. Even if you dried off, you still got the wet suit, the wet towel. You know, it's everything. I'm going to watch some Seinfeld, and oh, crap, my recliner's all wet because I'm a merman. Oh. Yeah, exactly. You know, I, that's, I mean, that's the best way to describe it. It's kind of, um, so would you have, like, at those vacation places, would you have, like, a designated, like, pool towel like shelf like just like a bunch of pool towels i guess i I guess well i wouldn't really even book hotel rooms i would just sneak in at night and sleep in the pool exactly you would just be able to that's that's cheap and that's innovative i'll just sneak through the lobby or i'd wait by the you know how you have to have the key card to get in i'll just wait (laughs) yeah i'll just be like smoking a cigar in the lobby as a merman with my uh i don't know my daffy duck swimsuit on I'll just wait. They go in, I go in, we swim, we laugh, we have fun. I meet some, I'm like, oh, you want to come up to our room for some uh, happy hour or something? Maybe we could order some salmon. I'm like, yeah, I'll be up there in 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to swim a little longer. And then you go to sleep for nine hours, wake up, have the free all you can eat breakfast. Yeah, that's really, that's really where, where it's at. And that's innovative too. And I'm trying to think if I, uh, so if you were a mer person, um, do they eat that? Well, that's what I was wondering. I mean, you're, do they eat fish? <sighs> what do mermen eat? All right, here we go. Google. Well, I wish we had asked Jeeves, what do mermen eat? And the fairy tale mermaids eat fish. Okay. That's what I was thinking. So that's what I was thinking. That'd be like us eating monkeys, you know, like they're close <laughs> enough, but they're different. And well, that's what we're I was still wondering. Eat them. It's, vegetables it, how's a mermaid gonna get vegetables no there's unless some like a whole foods gets engulfed in a in a dash of fat hey chef dude i gotta cook a dinner for my aunt she's coming over their new boyfriend and she's a mermaid uh <laughs> what can i make that she'll eat dude chef dude just make some uh some flounder Flounder. So is that like Nemo or something? <laughs> isn't so now I'm thinking about it too. Isn't when you say Nemo, finding Nemo, isn't there like a turtle that kind of talks like that? 
I think so. I never seen the movie, so I don't know. Oh, you should go up. You've given me a list of movies. You got you guys I've should watch seen, Finding Nemo. Oh, you, oh, there you are. You cut out. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. oh wait. How about now? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, you I'm saying you should if you should watch Finding Nemo if you haven't. I've seen it. I've seen it on mute at a uh, a doctor's office. Oh, okay. So uh, that's yeah. You didn't get the full experience. So you got to get. No. That was like me. I only saw. For the longest time, I'd only see Wally when I would like be in the movie Wally when I would like you know no like be on an airplane or um you know or be mm. going in like Walmart and be playing on like all the TVs that they're selling and then we I recently watched it for the first time like I don't know like three years ago or something Wally yeah Wally yeah it's a good movie it's a good movie I like it it's uh pretty good enjoy it's it. pretty good yeah Pixar though I think I, I've said this before my favorite Pixar movie of all of them is uh, Ratatouille. Mm. it's got to be the rat it's got to be the rat it is it's just a good movie too i feel like pixar movies they are just the, the writers are monsters like they want they're like all right let's just right at the beginning let's make you bond with some characters and have those characters be really important to the main character and then let's kill them <laughs> they they hired a jr martin or whatever his name is yeah the, just the kill Game all of the Thrones characters guy. yeah He's like, sorry, I missed, that. I missed that vibe of that show. Speaking that of which, have, you, season of have life. you played Elden Ring at all? That is, I could tell you right now, not my game. I looked into it and I was like, nah, this ain't me, dog. This I'm curious because I feel like that would check all the boxes for, for John Whip, but that's it interesting that you're like, yeah. zero boxes. And here's why. <laughs> so, oh, I want to hear it. Tell me. All right. It's open world, right? Yeah. So, like, you can pretty much do anything. And I don't like that because in a game, I like to have some, like, direction. As weird as that sounds, I don't like being plopped in a world and being like, okay, now what? Because, uh, okay, first of all, Dark Souls, it's, it's that Dark Souls game, essentially, right? Yeah, I think essentially, yeah. I ain't ever touching a Dark Souls game ever because i touched sekiro which is not dark souls but it's as hard if not harder than a dark souls game and i've never returned a game on steam but i had to return it because i got to the the boss and i spent like an hour i was like how do i beat this thing i looked up guides and i was like i can't do that i'm not 12 i'm not on adderall (laughs) <laughs> like, what? yeah and so i returned it and dark souls is like that it's it's a very punishing game and i just that's not my cup of tea no yeah you don't want to you don't want to deal with that okay that's good to know i've heard a lot of different things but i'm glad i'm getting a real real review from a real person like yourself so yeah i'm sure like if you're okay dark souls is for gamers who are way more hardcore than i could ever be like Fair. i know one who does dark souls and you have to be almost a masochist. And you, you, it's a game where you have to not have neighbors nearby because you're going to be yelling and throwing your controller. Mm, and I, yeah. I, I don't want to play a game like that. I don't want to play a game where it's almost like I'm developing a skill set. It's like, dude, I'm just playing a game. I don't need to be yeah. developing a skill set for this. Yeah. I could use my brain for something else. Like, I'm just, I want to relax and chill. I don't want to. Like, yeah, I could learn a new language or something instead of learning how to beat the first 10 hours of a Dark Souls game. I don't know. Exactly. I think that's well put. And I'm kind of similar with my, with the type of games I want. I usually play stuff that's, you know, it's something I just want to play for fun, play and relax. So I was curious to hear your take. So it sounds like the, the John Whip review of Elden Rings is, is not good. <laughs> yeah. And I just don't like the whole, open world aspect i mean it's okay if there's if it's done in the way i like it and the way i like it was the first red dead redemption or was it uh, yeah so there's red dead revolver red red i like the first red dead redemption because it was enough open world but enough like quests to get you around it was a good balance of like here's what you need to do and you can also do whatever you want um yeah but just like being plopped down and being like okay have fun it's like no because then it just you sink so much time into just wandering around it's like if i want to wander around i'll play like 
No Man's Sky or Minecraft or something. I'll. I don't yes, know. exactly. It, yep. I yeah, that's that's what Minecraft is for. It's like okay, you know, I'm just gonna wander around and just build like stuff and dig underground. And I might play that tonight actually on my Switch. I might play some Minecraft. Mm, Minecraft. I haven't oh. played that in so long. We should. Oh man, we should do that one of these ep- episodes. We should play Minecraft because it's cross uh, cross platform. And I know you have it on. If you do have it on PC or Xbox, we could play it. So. Um, I might have to buy it again because I had it when it was in like alpha and so i actually oh, bought it okay. off the website and downloaded the client had a whole login and everything and i don't it's been like 10 years or something crazy oh, so. okay so it's been <laughs> a, yeah it's been a i might while. have to well, buy a new one but <clears throat> i think it's should. on game pass right it's on game pass yeah because you have are you oh yeah because you play um on your computer but you have xbox right account yeah, we could do a JJ Fresh play some Minecraft, a little thirty-minute mm. episode of us. You know, we we could do a series where, uh, Ooh. you know, we play thirty minutes every Saturday or something. Just a little, con- it'd be easy content, and then you'll have a little narrative going on. Look what we built. Look at the progression. Oh. Look at it. You know. I'm so I'm really down for that because I think that'd be I think he'd be someone who'd be really fun to play Minecraft with. It'd be it'd be a good time. It'd be. I hope my I think my computer could handle it because I'd have to run. The audio on this, I'd have to screen capture, and I'd have to have the game running. I think my computer could handle it, so. I think, I think so, too. All right. And I just do, like, audio and... You just um, need audio and your game, so. Yeah, and that's it. Because I have it on Switch, so I don't have capture device. But that's fine, because we'll see us playing together on your computer, so it worked out. I think it'd be fun. If you want to try it this weekend, let me know. I know it's short oh. notice, but... Oh, man, I'll be down. All right, let's just, let's just plan on it, so... Yeah, you get that game and you let me know and I'll be ready to play it. So, Okay, I think it's on Game Pass. I'll look after this. Uh, I should be able to play it on my computer. It should be on oh. Steam too, I think. Let me look. Probably. Store. I feel like it would be. I'd rather do it on Steam because the Game Pass... The Game Pass is good, but uh, the whole Xbox interface on the computer is a freaking train wreck. It sounds I'm like it, yeah. I've heard of that. Oh, yeah. Well... I might go soon to go eat some pizza because now you or something because I don't know. I just I mean, I was just saying pizza because it sounds really good, but I do want to play some Minecraft. I actually I'm super, super down for that. So cool. I'll see if I can find it on my computer and I'll get back to you. And cool. uh, I'll, I'll end this podcast with a comment we got on our Ooh. last episode, which had the, actually the worst thumbnail I've ever made. I don't know if you noticed that, but it was pretty bad. <laughs> it's <was> good. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, it's by a guy named WVTER, and he says, this actually is kind of cool. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's makes me sad, but even though I know it's a compliment, but it's, it's... It's just the doubt you had on that beautiful thumbnail. It's like, okay, I guess I'll click on this. Uh, okay, they're talking about, okay, Pinocchio <laughs> nipples, okay yeah <laughs> all right i guess it's kind of cool yeah give it a give it a b cool. <laughs> it's kind of cool i guess i i love that <laughs> i do uh, think butter there are some people puppet. yeah it's pretty neat <laughs> sorry pretty cool <laughs> this is not pretty no cool. i i just i think it's funny there there are some comments sometimes where people seem surprised that they're like oh this you know it's, it's funny yeah it's good and yeah it's good yeah it's good that's just it's like that's watching really a uh, like an am sandler movie and like happy gilmore and during like the funny parts, you just go, "Huh, oh, I get it." Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. You know, it's Cl- exactly Cl- that. So I'm Clever glad we're Sandler in that. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, that that is a good comment to end on, and yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you for tuning into our regularly scheduled program. Contact Josh and Jonathan at PowerPackPodcast at Gmail dot com. Support the show at patreon.com slash powerpacked. See you next time, you dirty little rat babies.